face here. Hey, you probably already know that your left hand finger numbers go one, two, three, four, and sometimes you use your thumb, but some people don't and some people do. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here so I can tell you what to do with your right hand. Now, in order to do that, the first thing I'm gonna do is draw a little diagram of your right hand. So I'm gonna need you to hold up your right hand. If you can just hold it up to the camera so I can see it really good. Yeah, that's good. Let me just, um, a lot of people don't know this about me, but besides studying music, yeah, keep it up, thanks. Uh, besides studying music, I did about seven years at the Berrydale School of Hand Drawing and Fine Artistry. So, oh yeah, this is good. One more second, good. Let me just kind of do, sort of, okay, yeah, right, okay. I think we've got it, we've got it here. All right, here we go. Your right hand, which by the way, looks a little bit like a turkey. You might want to get that checked out. So for your left hand, we use the numbers one, two, three, four. For your right hand, we're going to use letters P, I, M, and A. Those happen to be the first letter of the Spanish words for those fingers. For instance, P for pulgar or thumb. I is indice or index finger. M for medio, that's your middle finger, and A is annular, your ring finger. And we're not gonna count your, what looks to be like an oversized pinky. So now that you know what they're called, let's put them to use. <laughs> your thumb, that's P, is going to travel around the bottom three strings usually. Remember all of these rules that I'm tell telling you are usuallys and not always is or nevers is. So your thumb is going to usually be playing on these bottom strings playing bass notes. Your pointer finger, that's I, is usually going to be playing your third string and plucking upwards like that, and your finger kind of comes up into the palm of your hand. Your middle finger, M, plays the second string, does the same thing. You pluck it, and your finger comes to the palm of your hand again. Same thing with A, that's your ring finger. That's gonna play the first string though, and it's gonna come up into the palm of your hand. Here's a side view. Yeah, so let's put them all together, shall we? So I'll have you put your thumb on the sixth string, and kind of rest it right there, and then these ones can camp out underneath their strings there. I am A. P I M A, and that's going to be your exercise for that's your first exercise for playing finger style guitar. It's going to go P I M A, P I M A, and a lot of people will start with what they call that was a free stroke. A lot of people will start with what they call a rest stroke. It has to do with your thumb P, where your sixth string plays the sixth string in comes to rest on the fifth string. Kind of helps you to stay stable there. So P, I, M, A. And you see how much my hand moves when I do that? Like almost not, none at all. So my thumb is out in front of the, my other hands. My knuckles here are like almost parallel with the strings. And I'm gonna go P, I, M, A. P, I, M, A. Once you do that, you can start adding chords to it. Perhaps a G chord if you like. Or you can do an E chord if you feel like it. Heck, you could even do an E minor. And then once you get that, you can start using your thumb for other strings like this, maybe an A chord. D chord. You can start putting them all together and have them go like this. Okay, so your homework for this week is going to be this finger style exercise. It's gonna start with a G chord, then it's gonna go to an A7 chord, and then to a D chord, 
into a G chord. And all you're gonna do is go P, I, M, A, just like that on all of those chords. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna be playing every single note or every single string of every single chord. It's just gonna be the bass note, which is sometimes on the sixth string, sometimes on the fifth, and sometimes on the fourth string. You can look for at the tablature if you're not sure which is which. And then you're gonna go third string, second string, first string with your other fingers. So here it goes. Ready, starting with a G chord. Everybody got your G chord? Excellent, here we go. Good, decent practice. That's how you're supposed to do it. Now let's all play it together. I'm gonna count us in. You ready? I'm gonna go. One, two, three, four, and then we all start together on the G chord. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. get all the chord changes in just the right time. Notice that I wasn't using that rest stroke that time, I was using the free stroke. Whether you use the free stroke or the rest stroke isn't that big of a deal right now. It's uh, mostly about getting the right fingers and getting them to come up into the palm of your hand and giving yourself enough space so that it's comfortable playing with your hand. Guitar playing is so exciting, you can play with a pick. So I hope you had fun with what you learned here today. If you want a download of that little exercise that I gave you for practice, it's somewhere in the description somewhere that you can click on and download it and print it out and stuff like that. So we'll see you next time. I'm Dace from Rock and More Music Academy. See you later.